understanding manu search manupatra is the most comprehensive legal research database in india combining the latest legal technology with research and analytical tools to provide cutting edge features to its users manu search is one of the many manu search is a search interface that gives you a single search box experience it assists you to search for keywords phrases multiple phrases and more you can simply type in your query and the search engine uses back end algorithms to give results based on relevancy the results can be sorted out on decision date title court name relevance it also has the near each other or the proximity search i'll just demonstrate it on the website for you this is how manu search looks like this is the search tab where you can type words phrases quotes sentences anything and it provides you the free text search the next button is the auto button you can select any one from these three options so the auto will search for everything the and and all are boolean searches provided this is the search button the button next to it if we click it here it provide it provides you a detailed analysis on how to use shortcuts in manu search so how can you use a normal query phrase query and negative word punctuation spell check wild cards all of these other shortcuts that would make your research faster again you can select the quotes where you want the search so if you want only indian court judgments or you want international court judgments if you don't select this it provides you both then there's this option of search and results as you can see it refines your research so you can search for one phrase and then you can search within it i'll just demonstrate it for you in a second the near each other feature provides you with proximity search so if i write five words and i select near each other feature as you can see it searches within 20 words that is those five words should appear within 20 words of each other and the result would show only those judgments it does not search only for the phrases that you've entered it looks for alternate spellings as well as synonyms you just have to check this box here then you have the taxonomy feature here you can as you can see i'll just show you it provides you a hierarchical skill structure of the list of topics and subtopics under which so basically it's a shortcut for the legal taxonomy feature provided on manupatra similarly i'll just show you a live demo through performing a search for live in relationships as you can see we have around 33872 results for live in relationships as you can see the top most research is the navdeep singh johar which is again a very relevant judgment now i'll show you how you can filter these searches in manu search you can select it by court so even in indian courts or international courts you want to see any one particular court you can select and it would show the judgments only from that court so i select the supreme court of india here then as you can see there are keywords that you can select there are judges that you can select so the keywords are again highlighted on the basis of the terms that are very very common in these judgments so suppose i want to search for eviction in a live in relationship there was eviction or because there were tenants who were in a live in relationship they were evicted i just have to select this there are 50 relevant judgments and they would come so similarly you can select keywords and there's a wide range provided here again you can select from a particular judge we want just the judgments from them you can select a period that is a timeline in which you want the judgments you can select industry you can select publisher you can select the strength of the judgment so all these pro 
uh, options are provided with Manu search. Again, I wanted to demonstrate the search and results feature. So I selected the search and re results feature. It would select whatever query I type would be searched within the 659 results that have come after selecting live in relationships and only Supreme Court judgments. So I search for a child. Okay. So which of these judgments include child? I select or and I write children as well. So child or children, whatever is there, it would refine the search from that. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm down to 365 judgments. Again, if I want to search in results or I want to search near each other, I'll select the near each other feature and I'll select live in relationship, children, born out of wedlock so i'll just write wedlock and i'll see that okay these should appear within 20 words of each other and what results i can get okay so there are no judgments which supreme court has discussed where live in relationships children and wedlock come within this range However, if I want to know any further judgments that can come, I'll just use the save search set alert option here. I'll save the search and if any other judgment on the topic comes, it would come in my inbox directly. Again, I can sort the judgments of the results if I just go back to my last search. Again, I can sort these out by relevance, court name, decision date, title, cited most. All these options are provided under Manu Search. To recap Manu Search, it provides you in a capsule to search for keywords, phrases, multiple phrases or more. You can simply uh, type in the query and it is a free text search. It matches the words in your search with the words contained in the database. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any queries, please write it down in the comment section below or write to us at contact at manpatra.com. Thank you.